Hey Premiere Pros, it's Paul Murphy here, and today I'm going to show you a quick way to turn this into this. So I have all of the clips in my timeline stacked like a staircase here, and what I want to do is flatten my video and audio so that they're on a single track. Now sometimes I need to do this when I'm exporting an XML or EDL to another application like DaVinci. But more commonly, I need to do this when I've created a multi-cam sequence and Premiere has placed each clip on its own track. If you are working with a multi-cam sequence and you need to open it in your timeline, the shortcut for that is to hold down the command or control key and then double click your multi-cam sequence in the project panel and that will open it in the timeline. I'm gonna press the accent grav key to maximize my timeline and I'll just resize this so I can see everything. So the trick to this is how you set up your track targets over here. And for my video track targets, I want them all turned on except for track one. So I'm gonna hold down the shift key and click any one of my track targets. Now they're all turned on. And then I'll just click V1 to turn that off. And then I'll move down to my audio track targets. I want all of these turned on. So I'll hold down shift, click any one of them. And now they're all turned on. And now what I'm gonna do is hold down the option key and the down arrow key, and I'm just gonna click this. And you can see all of my clips are flattening to one track. And now we have a bunch of empty tracks that we don't need anymore. So I'm just going to right click any track header, go to delete tracks. And I want to turn on delete video tracks if they're empty and delete audio tracks if they're empty and then click okay. And there we go, we've flattened all of our video and audio tracks. But what if we only want to flatten the video or audio tracks? Well, for this, I'll switch over to my sequence that I haven't flattened yet. And let's say all we want to do is flatten the video and leave the audio exactly where it is. For this, I'm going to make sure that all of my track targets for my video are turned on, except for video track one. And then I'm going to turn off all of my audio targets. So hold down shift and click any one of them to turn them all off. But I'm only going to turn on audio track one. And now all I need to do is lock all of my audio tracks. So I'll hold down shift and click the lock icon for my audio tracks. And then I'll hold down option and down arrow. And now I'm just flattening my video tracks. So that's it, just a quick way to flatten your video and audio tracks to a single track. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.